everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be using the Cricut Maker to make Christmas gifts for puzzlers. This video is sponsored by Cricut, so everybody say a big thank you to Cricut. They also gifted me this machine and the Easy Press, which we will get to very soon. So, here's my dilemma. As a person who loves jigsaw puzzles, Sometimes I want to wear my love of jigsaw puzzles on my body and most of the merch that I've seen out there, it's really not good. Most of it's not good. So that's why today I put together a few of my own designs and we are going to iron them onto a sweatshirt and onto a t-shirt and onto a tote bag. All of the designs will be available for you to download for free to use with your Cricut. So you can make them either for yourself or as a gift for anyone who loves jigsaw puzzles. You know, with hobbies, it can be hard to like get someone a puzzle that you know they're gonna like. So this way you can get them something puzzle related that you made yourself. It's just like a win-win all around. Oh, maybe I should explain what the Cricut is. I keep forgetting this isn't my DIY channel. So maybe some of you don't know. So the Cricut is a die cutting machine. Imagine a printer, but instead of ink, it has a blade that can cut through things. So you can cut super intricate designs. Anything that you design on the computer, you can cut with the Cricut. It cuts paper, it cuts fabric, it cuts uh, vinyl, obviously. It's a really, really powerful tool. What I'm showing you is a really basic, easy project, but I'll have all the information linked down below if you want to dig into it yourself and get more examples of projects that you can do. And with the holidays coming up, I think this would make an amazing gift under the tree. So all of the links will be below to learn all that you can about it. All right, so with all that being said, let's get into the actual project. So I have my Cricut set up and plugged in. I have the cutting mat, which is a little sticky so that when the Cricut is cutting things, it's not going all over the place. I have my roll of vinyl, which I'm going to be sticking on here. And I have my computer. So let's open up Cricut Design Space and get our design ready. So I'm just gonna come down here and click new project. And then over here to upload, since I already designed my image in Illustrator, but Cricut has a huge design library. So you can always just browse through there to design whatever you want. I'm gonna insert that. And there we are, so easy. So the mat is 12 by 12 and I measured my tote bag and a design that's maybe like 10 by 10, I think would fit pretty well on there. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. All right, so now that we have that in place, it's literally all we have to do. I'm just gonna click make it. And there's our design. It's a little hard to see because this mat is dark and our design is dark, but you know, it's there, it looks great. We're just gonna give it a quick once over, make sure everything looks the way we want it to. And then this is really important. When you're doing an iron-on vinyl project, you'll want to mirror the image so that when you iron it on, it doesn't end up backwards. Now I need to set my material and I'm using this everyday iron-on vinyl. So with this iron-on vinyl, you're gonna wanna make sure the shiny side is face down. Oh, it's already getting stuck. Face down onto the mat. So just put it right up here in the corner and then press it down. So you just put it right here under these little tabs, make sure it's right up against these rollers, and then press the flashing arrow button. It's really handy, the buttons flash and tell you exactly which one to press next. So next all we have to do is press the flashing Cricut logo and then it's gonna start cutting. So once again, you just press the flashing button to unload it and oh my God, it's cut. So exciting. So we're gonna remove it off of our mat. And now I'm just going to cut around the outline of the design because we can actually use the rest of this vinyl for other smaller projects. So I'll just put this away to use later for another project. And now this is the super fun part, getting to remove all of the extra vinyl that's not part of our design. It's so satisfying. All right, 
So once all of the extra vinyl is up, we're just gonna peel this up from the mat. And look at how good that's looking. I can't wait to put this on my tote bag. But first, I'm gonna cut out my other designs and then we're gonna iron everything all at once. So for the t-shirt, rather than doing one big design, I'm actually gonna cut a bunch of these little puzzle pieces and then arrange them all over the shirt later. And this would be a great project if you have little scraps of vinyl left over like we did at the end of the last project. So since I'm going to be mixing these up on the shirt and making you know a new design out of them, I'm going to just cut these up into individual pieces, being careful not to cut through any of the vinyl. So now that I have a bunch of puzzle pieces ready to be ironed on, let's move on to our last design. And finally, for my last one, I'm gonna be making a sweatshirt that says I'd rather be puzzling because literally always, hashtag me. So what I'm going to do is just select all of them and then down here, click weld. And that's just gonna group them all into one shape so that when the Cricut is interpreting all the different shapes, it's not mixing them all up. They're gonna stay like this and stay as text. I think that looks great. Once again, we're just gonna click mirror and then we'll get to cutting. So now that we have everything cut out, it's time to move on to the ironing. For this, I'm going to be using the Cricut Easy Press 2. Don't worry, it's not plugged in right now. If it was plugged in and turned on, you'd wanna be really careful because it's basically a giant iron. This makes it so that you can iron a design this big all in one go. It makes it way easier rather than trying to move the iron around and make sure it's in every spot for the same amount of time. It also has really handy temperature controls, a timer. This thing is just so easy to use, so convenient. And there's also the Cricut Easy Press Mat, which is basically like a portable ironing board. So you just put this down and it protects your surfaces when you're ironing. So here's another way that Cricut makes these projects so easy to do. On their website, they have a handy guide where you just put in what type of easy press you're using, what type of material you're ironing and what you're ironing it onto. And then it tells you exactly what temperature and for how long you'll want to iron it on. For my first one, I'm gonna be ironing onto the tote bag which is a cotton canvas material. So Cricut has told me that we have to iron for 30 seconds at 340 degrees. And if you scroll down, there's literally step-by-step -step instructions. The shirt that we're gonna do is 100% cotton and the sweatshirt is a cotton poly blend. So since all of them are different materials, I was a little nervous. I was like, how do I know what temperature to iron onto? Do I just guess? But no, Cricut makes it so easy and they just tell you. Oh, and the reason I moved over here is because the outlet is right there. So it's just a little more convenient to like maneuver everything right here. So let's get this plugged in, let's get it preheated, and then we'll get to ironing. So the instructions tell me to preheat the tote bag for about five seconds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I don't think this part you really need the timer for, you just kind of, you know, spend a couple seconds here. All right, it's nice and warm. So now we're just gonna grab our design and press that down into place. Now we're gonna grab the easy press again, press that down and press the green button, which starts the timer. Now, since this design is a little bit bigger than the easy press, I am just gonna be moving it around and I might give it a few extra seconds just because it's not hitting the whole thing for the whole 30 seconds. So now the instructions tell me to flip it over and do 15 seconds on the other side. go. Oh, this is so exciting. This is the best part. So this is very hot. So I'm just going to let it cool down for just a minute. We will want to remove the plastic while it's warm, but we can give it a sec so it's not like piping hot and gonna burn us. All right, moment of truth. Did it work? Do we have a puzzle queen tote bag? 
This plastic comes off so easily. It just peels right up. Oh my God, that looks so good. I'm obsessed with everything about this, but we have two more things to make, so let's finish those up too. So for this one, since it's not one big design, I'm just gonna preheat the shirt in this one section and then put down a few of my puzzle pieces and then I'll just keep moving the shirt around as I go. with the last one peeled off. There's our puzzle piece shirt. I think this is so cute. I can't wait to try it on, but we have one more project. So let's go ahead and finish up the sweatshirt. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting and so fast. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I had to put on my new shirt right away. What do we think? It's so cute, right? I feel like I need to wear either this shirt or my new sweatshirt in literally like every video that I make on this channel now. As I mentioned before, all of the cut files for all three designs will be down in the description for free for you to download, for you to use. I'd love to see what you make out of them. I kind of want to put this design on a t-shirt as well. So if you do that, send me a picture so I can see how it looks. So I know that some of you might be wondering, but Karen, why didn't you use your Cricut to make a custom puzzle? And the answer is because I need to do a lot more experimenting to figure out the absolute best way to go about doing that. It's definitely a project I wanna take on, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. But in the meantime, if you wanna see more projects that you can make out of the Cricut, I also posted a video over on my main channel where I'm making Christmas ornaments for crafters, they're inspired by art supplies, they're so cute, and I made all three of them using the Cricut. So I'm gonna link that video right down below. So thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring this video, and I hope you liked all of these projects. Happy puzzling! Hopefully I'll be able to get one more video put up on this channel before the end of the year, but we'll see, I just don't know if I'll have time. If I don't, then happy holidays. I hope you all have an amazing new year. If I do, then I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> all right, bye everyone.